soda and Mentos, just like peanut butter and jelly, just a lot more explosive. This is gonna be awesome. Giraffe versus Mentos and soda. What in the world am I doing here? Okay, that multiplies it times seven, and then I can use money to change the color of the of the explosion? Oh my gosh, that was incredible. I was not expecting that kind of reaction. $91 is enough. I love how it's like making me feel bad. Yeah, $91, that's enough, you're good. Fine, whatever, take it. We have defeated the giraffe with the power of Mentos and Coke. I'll take my $500, thank you. Okay, so now we get into the upgrade part of the game. So we can upgrade the, I don't know, the volatility of the soda, the bubbliness. And then we can also upgrade, what, like the size of the Mentos or I don't know. All right, let's see what this is about. The Statue of Liberty, okay. So basically I'm doing math right now times five times 80, but then divided by two. Is that better than times 185? I think so. I, I really do. I really think that it's it's better. It's gotta be, right? Was it, it's, it's not enough? 21, that's what I ended up with? Maybe my math is all wrong. I don't know. Does it really matter? We still blew up soda and Mentos to like half the height of the Statue of Liberty. That's like a ridiculous amount, but we need more. You really want me to watch this ad to upgrade whatever this is, and I'm gonna do it, cause I'm a sucker. Okay, I've upgraded whatever that was to level three. What does that do? I don't know. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of numbers here. Uh, okay. Times 50 times four is 200, but then times 15 times 13, I don't know what that is. And then there's question marks. Do the question marks mean that like something insane can happen? I kind of got to know. I got to know what the question marks do. What did the, it divided by three? That is the most hurtful thing you could have done to me, game. I do love that we have like a jug of soda, but the, the question mark turning into a divide by three is just mean either way we'll keep upgrading we'll keep improving maybe we'll think about the math a little bit harder i guess i i feel like times 35 is the best i got here so i'm gonna do times 35 just keep it simple that adds 35 mentos and that's enough because i just need 31 at the end <laughs> it's so good i love it there is something truly satisfying about watching a geyser of soda launch to the height of the Statue of Liberty. I will take my thousand dollars and now we will move on to the pyramids of Giza. What does this do? I don't know, I just bought it and I also bought, okay, so now that, that fills the jug with more soda. That seems good. Let's see what happens. I got the math, man. Okay, we could go for the question mark. Maybe it's times 9,000, but the best one we have on the board right now is times 22, which is not nearly enough to fill that jug with 56 Mentos. So you know what? I'm taking a risk. No, <laughs> you dropped the Mentos a little early there, okay? What is this? How many is this gonna be? 40. It's disappointing to say the very least, but that, hey, I mean, it was a new record, so I'll take it. I'll take my 520. I am tempted to do the, the times five thing with the punching glove there, but we might do that later. For now, oh my gosh. Okay, times 23 times five seems like, seems like the right choice. It is, it is. Don't, don't mess this up, man. Okay, there, there. Th that's incredible. That has to be it, right? That's, that's gotta be 56. 51! Why you gotta hurt me like that? 51, we we're so close. 125 meters though, I mean, come on. All right, I'm taking the times five. I don't think I hit the times five. I think I hit times three. I'll take it, but it was not what I was hoping for. Yeah, I hit the times three, that kind of hurts. Either way, we have enough to upgrade our um, Mentos, I guess. So we start with three Mentos. I don't know how the multiplication works on that, but I'm not gonna try to overthink it. I'm just gonna keep making the numbers get bigger. So 
if I drop them into the times 10 times four divided by two, that's basically times 20, which is obviously better than all the other choices, but we got question marks out there. I, I gotta risk it. I gotta risk it with the question mark. Times 14, I don't, that's, that's not better. I mean, 14 times three is pretty good. It's 42. Is that 14 times three is 42? Yeah, 14 times three is 42. But times 20 would have been better. I should have just stuck with my guns. Oh well. You take some wins, you take some losses. You uh, you definitely do times two and then times 45. That's like a absolute no brainer. Holy cow. I need this in my life. <laughs> this is so many. It's too many. No, you can never have too many, right? It didn't even let me uh, drop all of the Mentos into the soda jug. There was still more. I need more of that. Please give me more of that. Okay, more soda. I guess more soda means you can fit maybe like more Mentos in there. Maybe. I don't know. We still haven't beaten the the pyramid though. Okay, I'm going question mark. I'm going I'm I'm going for it. Ooh, it divided us by three. That hurts. Why the question marks gotta be so mean? <laughs> You were one off. One. <sighs> You're breaking my heart, game. I'm hitting the times five. I think I missed the times five again. No, I hit it. I hit the times five. And I defeated the pyramids. Take that, pyramids. You stink. Bring it on, Eiffel Tower. You're next. Okay, I got money to spend. And, I, and spend I will. Let's go that. Okay, that's maxed. That is also maxed. So now we can only, oh, am I maximum maxed or am I just maxed for this level? We'll find out. Either way, let's do some multiplying. Yeah, uh, I think we want the one on the far right, the times three times five, but there's kind of a pachinko thing going on here where the Mentos can like bounce around on other objects. They're making it a little bit trickier, which I respect. Then we were nowhere near what we needed to be at. 131 Mentos into one giant jug of soda. Just ridiculous. And I love it. What do you got for me, game? Nope, still maxed out. Okay, fair enough. Just gotta do good math. I, uh, <laughs> oh no. Um, I didn't really see what was on the bottom half of this level. So, um, let's just go with times two and hope for the best. Times five. We need times five. Do, do I get to... I can adjust the bucket? Oh, okay. Okay. It, it's not, like, incredible, but it's it's good, right? Man, this, this is getting complicated. You're making my head hurt. As if Baldi's impossible math problems weren't enough, now I'm getting hit with Mentos math. Help. So we basically get two opportunities here to make the best with what we've got. I would love to get all of my Mentos into the times five. I did not get all of them in. That's okay. And then we hit it with another times five. And I mean, that's a decent amount of Mentos, but is that 131? No, it is not. This is crazy. We did beat our previous high score though. That's pretty sweet. I'm very happy with that. But what am I supposed to do with all this money if all my attributes are at max level right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, just think about this for a second. Times two, times two, times seven. So is that just four times seven? So is it times 28 or is there some kind of like order of operation sort of thing? I mean, I see the times 30 and I see the times three and times 11, that's 33. That's the best one that I can see because yeah, the, the one with the division is just a no-go. So let's go with that. Okay, that's a lot of Mentos. And you know what? Let's change it to green. What does this do? I don't know. Does it make the geyser green? Let's find out. 131. It was so epic. I, I It actually made me sneeze. That's... That's how incredible it was, and it did make the geyser green. I'll take the times five. I have 12,000 gold in the bank right now. I don't really know what to do with it, so I'll just take my 4,000 from defeating the Eiffel Tower. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
I understand now. So each level has like individual leveling up. So we did hit the max level for the Eiffel Tower level, but now we're on a whole different scale. That is a truck, a literal truckload of soda. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Obviously things are costing a little bit more than they used to, but we're hitting a whole different scale here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go times 85. You know it. All right, that's that's a good amount of Mentos there. Get, oh my goodness. Easy 153. Does that mean that we just beat the Eiffel Tower right off the bat? No, it doesn't because we have to fill the truck with more soda. We need more soda. And that's precisely what I'm going to upgrade. Okay. I'm so into this. Times three times 25 seems like our best bet because that's 75. But we got to make sure that all the Mentos fall into that category. Okay. What you got? Is that 171? Oh, that is easily 171. So now we're at the point where we're easily hitting the amount of Mentos that we need, but we don't have enough soda. So, you know, I'm going to hit the times five. Yeah, that's a decent amount of money. Thank you very much. Um, upgrade my soda. Upgrade my soda again. And let's continue the chaos. What do you got for me? Ugh. Okay, this one doesn't seem as impressive, but I'll go times two times 40 or times 20. So that'll make it times 40. Are we going to hit 207? Oh, we totally did. Okay. Are we going to defeat the, the, the empire, the, whatever that building is, the empire state building. That, that is the building that we're trying to beat. And we just did. Goodbye, Empire State. Now we're moving on to Canada, straight up to Toronto. All right, I got $31,000 to spend. Wait, I thought we beat the level. So why did my, my upgrades not reset? Okay, now I'm confused and nothing makes sense. Doesn't matter. I'm glad that we get to keep our upgrades. Let's create some soda geysers. Oh my gosh, there's too many numbers. I'm overwhelmed. What am I doing? Times 15. Just go times 15. Keep it simple. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of numbers. Okay, yeah. That, that bucket holds an impressive amount of Mentos. And then, you know, you got to take it and just dump it in the times five. I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer. Um, we definitely are going to overfill our truck. So, yeah, it kind of goes without saying that uh, we need more cola. Oh, that is so beautiful, though. <laughs> Oh, good. What a game. What a what a just a, a fantastic video game. More cola. We all know it. We got to fill this truck with just pure cola. Now, there's a lot of numbers again. I would love to just get times 110. That seems like our best choice. Oh, no. Okay, it's okay. We're st we still have so many Mentos on the screen. <laughs> It's, it's very satisfying. There's, there's a lot of Mentos. And that is a very impressive geyser of, of green soda. What's a green? Mountain Dew, right? Well, Mountain Dew's kind of more yellow, isn't it? What's like a really green soda? Like that melon soda. It's like a Japanese soda. We still haven't beaten the, the CN Tower, though. It's too strong. Do we go question mark? Do you think it will make up for the divide by five? No, I don't. I think we just go 120. Again, just keep it simple. Don't overthink it. We're filling the truck more than enough. There, there are Mentos falling out of the top of our little mechanism. Did you, did you see that? They're just dumping out the sides. I still can't beat that high score though. You see that 1800 feet. We're launching Cola 1800 feet into the sky. That's, that's just, Wonderful. I got to go times 45. I don't know if times 45 is going to be enough. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's going to be enough. Is it? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, it was enough. And I, I'm pretty sure this is going to beat our opponent, which is a literal building. Take that building. Did we win? Yes, we did. I will take my earnings for defeating a building. 20,000. I mean, yeah, I'll watch the ad. Beautiful. The, the Burj Khalifa, right? That's what it's called. This is literally the, the world's tallest building. So can we build or launch a Mentos soda fountain that is bigger than the biggest building in the entire world? About to find out. 
Bring it on, Burj Khalifa. You don't scare me. Actually, if I was standing on the top of, of that building, I, I probably would be a little scared. It's really, really tall. We want... Hmm, what do we want? I think we want the times two times two times two times two. But it's going to be hard to... Uh, close enough. Oh, oh, that hurts. We hit the divide by six with some. Yeah, that's not going to be enough Mentos. Not even close. Just barely broke a hundred. I don't know how accurate uh, the, the heights are on this actual game, but it's telling me that the Burj Khalifa is 828 meters tall, which is 2,700 feet high. That's, that's a lot. Now I gotta Google it. Okay, I mean, they pretty much nailed it. It is, it is almost exactly the height that Wikipedia says. It says, excluding the antenna at the top, it's 2,717 feet tall. This is, uh, the game says 2,716 feet. Literally one foot off, who cares? It's got 163 floors. That's just, that's just crazy. What should we do? Let's go question mark. Let's, I will, okay, question mark was the way to go. That was the best option. And then of course, I mean, we're gonna go times five. Now, multiplying 36 times five is not gonna get us where we need to be, but It'll be kind of close. Okay, I'm wrong. It it wasn't close at all. I am dumb. And clearly my math skills are not very good. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll take it down. But then the question is, where do we go from here? Like, once we have defeated the literal tallest building in the entire world, um, what, what do we do? Like, what's the next thing? Do we, do we try to launch to the moon? Are we building rocket ships out of Mentos and Cola? Because I got to tell you, that would be very cool. We got to do better than this, though. We're not even beating our high score. It's embarrassing. Hit the times five. Get some upgrades. Now we're talking. Upgrade. Okay, we've hit max level for soda. So now we just need to do good math, which is easier said than done. Times 40 seems like the way to go. Well, no. This one is. Because if you... Well, uh, it seems to have created a bit of an issue with the Mentos falling out of the top, but then, like, they get re-multiplied when they hit the multipliers at the bottom. What is happening? What is... I, I don't even understand what's happening, but I am delighted that it worked. That's, that's what it boils down to. We have attained what our, our goal was, and that is... Very high up. 2,716 feet, to be precise. And now, our greatest foe yet, a pigeon. What? Is 1.2 miles in the air? <laughs> Alright, I got 60,000 gold to spend, so um, let's spend it. We're filling up, like, I, th I don't even know. Like, you can see the truck that we were using before is, like the size of an ant compared to the thing that we are filling up with soda. This is like a nuclear silo filled with soda. <laughs> All right. This is ridiculous, but it's also amazing. Let's uh, let's just do the times two on the side. Okay. Now what? Do we take the risk with the question mark? I think we do. I think that is... The, it was the right idea. Okay. Do it. It's not even close to being enough. Also, when you think about it, these Mentos that we are dropping into this giant nuclear silo, they are massive. They're like the size of a house. Each one. And I love that for me. I need so much more, though. So much more. Uh, yeah, the times, times two, times twelve, that's a no-brainer. Is it enough? I don't think so. <laughs> I just can't believe the scale here. And also when it launches, everything disintegrates. I just noticed that. Like the whole thing that you use to put the Mentos into the soda, it blows up from the explosion, which is beautiful. Gosh, we need so much money though. Times 110 divided by four is what? Like 28? That ain't it. We want times 40. Just go all the way to the right. That's your play. 
but we we need some some bigger numbers. We gotta get some bigger numbers so we can. I, I, well, actually, that was that was amazing. Uh, but we still need bigger numbers so that we can get more money so that we can upgrade our giant beaker. You see, our next obstacle is Mount Fuji. I'll take my thirty-one thousand. Wait, did we beat the pigeon? I didn't even realize we beat it. Okay, yes, and I will take my. 40,000 gold. And now we're taking on just straight up mountains. That's just stupid. I love it. Upgrade me. Continue to upgrade me. Mount Fuji. You think you're so tough? I don't know what to do here. There's just too many numbers. I'm just gonna go times two. Keep it simple, stupid. That's what I always say. Okay, 24 times five is like 120 something. Maybe 100 and... Right? 120 something? The exactly 120? Yeah, that's... That's 120 something. <laughs> Maybe my math isn't so bad. <laughs> times five times 15 divided by seven. I don't think that's the play. I think you just go straight for the times 25. That, that seems right. Is it right? I don't know. What we really need is just more money to fill this ridiculous thing with more soda. Where are we getting all this soda? Am I sponsored by Coca-Cola? That'd be pretty cool. Give me more upgrades. I guess more soda. Yeah, sure. Now what do we go for? Times eight is probably our best bet, but it's gonna be a little bit tricky to actually get it. Uh, okay, most of them went into the times eight. I'll take it. Don't the, there's Mentos falling from all directions. <laughs> And then you want to do the times four times, or times two times two, which is basically just times four. And there we go. There's our Mentos collection. Is it enough? Nah, I don't think so. That's, I mean, that is a lot. But it's, it's not a lot enough. Doesn't make any sense. We did beat our previous high score, though. So that's awesome. Who do we go question mark route? I gotta. We, we have to know, like... Oh, no. Well, it might still. There's some hope. There's no hope. The divide by five was brutal. But when we hit that time 70, there were so many Mentos. They popped out the top. And what I was hoping for is that they like bust out the top and then they would like fall back into maybe some of the other multipliers. It didn't quite work out that way. But we're getting very close to our goal. Let's do the the first one the purple one i don't even really know what it does i think it makes the mentos more powerful but i really have no idea oh man okay wait what times 220 divided by four would be like 55 right is there anything higher than 55 here i don't think there is and we might get that situation where the mentos like blow up because there's so many, and then they, yeah, and then they fall into the other sides of, look at it, it totally worked out that way. Okay, I think this is gonna, I think this is gonna hit it. Oh, no, because we're getting divided by four as they, as they filter down. Oh, man. It, oh, wait, 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 Ooh, we did it. I'm very pleased with those results. 2.3 miles straight up into the sky. That is... Just, it's beautiful, brings a tear to your eyes.